Do not compare yourself to other artists. The thing is, comparison can be a healthy type of motivation, but not always, as there's a thin sheet of ice right there. Comparing can turn unhealthy when it is excessive. For example, if you compare yourself to another artist every single time you see another artist's work, if comparison continues, feelings of jealousy, envy, frustration, and hopelessness may emerge, thereby erasing any chance of fulfillment and satisfaction as an artist. Be a little selfish. Do the art style you want to be making, not the art style society wants you to be making. If you're enjoying the process, then you'll certainly feel satisfied. Three, know that your family is biased. Their views are skewed and do not represent an accurate reflection of your work and output in the world. Let me give you a real life example. My parents think my art is childish and immature. Yet my friends think my art is good and my clients are quite happy with my work. I'm not trying to brag here, but I think point proven. Not everyone is going to like your art and that is fine. 4. Don't expect your family and loved ones or friends to understand your art, but do your best to educate them about it patiently. Just wanted to pause for a few seconds to tell you if you're enjoying my company and want to support me and my channel, you can buy me a coffee. I left the link in the description. 5. Base your success on how your art has enriched your life and how you feel when you create it. Also, it's important to see if your art has a message to the world. This is important. 6. Embrace failure. Sometimes, it is normal to create art pieces we ourselves do not like. Remember, even your worst pieces are considered practice. They are part of the process. They're part of the steps you need to complete in order to reach the level you're striving to reach. We all need to go through a certain amount of mistakes to reach success. 7. Constantly push yourself to expand and learn. As I've been saying on this channel, art isn't about perfection and creating masterpieces each time. Mostly it's about growth and evolution. Salvador Dali once said, have no fear of perfection, you'll never reach it. 8. Know that art can never be measured in any currency and will only ever appreciate in value over time. 9. Whenever you get bored or fall into a routine, explore new areas you hadn't explored before. Remember, it's the job of an artist to create new culture, not simply regenerate what already exists. 10. Sometimes, whenever a client or an art viewer offers their advice, the best thing to do might be just to smile and nod. Create your art authentically. Though it is tempting, we do not need to be people pleasers. It is very important to absorb and think about the advices and criticisms we're given. In fact, the best artists are the ones who do take criticism and work upon it. But it's not the end all be all when someone gives you criticism or says your art is bad or whatever. I remember one time at my first art gallery, I had presented a collection with this coherent theme speaking of fairy tales, specifically Disney fairy tales. And I remember this old man appeared at some point and he said, wow, really good art. I was like, thank you, appreciate it. And he decided to say, you know, but it's not so good. Oh, understandable. Do you want to know why? He asked. And I nodded. Yes, of course. Why is it not so good? So he was like, by creating portraits and human figures, you're actually trying to take God's place. But he is the ultimate creator and your art will never surpass his creation. You are trying to recreate humans, but you are not God. So I nodded. I didn't reply by the way, but in my brain, well, my goal by being an artist is not being God and creating life, but it is to create beauty and send messages through my art and to have conversations with myself. But I smiled and nodded that day when I was told to stop trying to be God. I was confused because that man had the wrong idea of what my purpose as an artist is. If you're still watching up till here, then you're awesome. By the way, you're going to love my Redbubble art stickers and framed art. You can check out my art shop by tapping the link in the description and you can purchase original high quality art from there. It ships anywhere. If you prefer custom art, I also do commissions and you can hire me through Fiverr. Thank you for watching. Art is a lifestyle. Subscribe to not miss out.